four and a half minutes. That's exactly how close most of the state of Texas was to losing power for weeks, maybe even months. That's what we learned from the CEO of the Electric Reliability Council of Texas, or ERCOT, today. And tonight, Governor Greg Abbott provided an update on the state's response to the winter storm and the millions of Texans left without electric power, heat, and water last week. KXAN's Wes Rappaport has more on his remarks tonight and the plans to fix it. Many of you are angry, and you have a right to be. I'm angry too. From the State Operations Center, Governor Greg Abbott says it's time to learn from the lessons of last week. At a time when essential services were needed the most, the system broke. You deserve answers. His address was mostly a recap of accountability actions after the winter storm, citing investigations into ERCOT, upcoming hearings to get to the root causes behind the long-lasting power outages, and a goal for physically protecting infrastructure. We have to weatherize wellheads, we have to weatherize generators, we have to weatherize solar, uh, the windmills. Half a dozen ERCOT board members have resigned, but Abbott says there's more to do. State lawmakers agree and say that falls on him and them. One fall guy will not correct the underlying problem that left Aunt Mary shivering in the cold and in the dark for three and a half to four days. He takes responsibility just as we do as elected officials, uh, making sure that those individuals are, are capable and, and knowledgeable and, and have the ability and uh, to responsibly oversee and, gov and govern and manage um, the um, marketplace and, and, and electrical um, generation. Abbott parted with a promise. This legislative session will not end until we fix these problems. Wes Rappaport, KXAN News. The governor said Texans will not have power shut off because of unpaid bills until the legislature has taken time to act on this. The Public Utility Commission also put a pause on power companies sending estimated invoices. The commissioners want to wait until state leaders can find a financial fix. Today,